Hi and welcome back to Griffin Park. It's felt a very long time since we played here, so it's so nice to be back home. And we are back with a bang against Derby County, which should be a very interesting match with both teams struggling a little bit for form. But we are going to keep things positive today, despite the weather. And we're going to ask fans around the ground if they could turn back time, which Brentford match they would relive. So do you remember your favourite Brentford match? One of them has to be MK Don's 31st of January a few years ago. We were 3-0 down and we managed to draw three all. But I suppose the game when we got up to the championship two years ago, the last game um, when we, we were promoted, of course, I don't particularly remember the game, just the end of it. No, we didn't go on the pitch. Somebody, someone didn't let me. <laughs> Who is this someone? Is she nearby? <laughs> yeah, she's right next to me. Come on, Mum, why was that? It was just like, no, you're not doing it, you're not doing it. But um, in hindsight, maybe we should have let him. 73, 4, I'm not entirely sure, where they played Crew Alexandra. And it was the most exciting game I ever saw, and I had the best bag of chips when we left there. Got them over at the Chinese, but that was a long time ago. Why was, why was that match so good, other than the chips? It was just such an exciting game. I couldn't tell you who won, I can't remember, but it was the best game of football I've ever seen. Best, um, best game was the first game of the season, I think it was the first game of the season, when they played um, Ipswich, and they were 2-0 two two down after 90 minutes, and they, they drew 2 all. Yeah, I remember that match, and even though it was a draw, it was such an amazing atmosphere. Winning atmosphere, yeah, it felt like a win at the end. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, what's I was a mascot once, and I was I was walking out with Marcello Trotter when he played for us. But um, Clayton Donaldson as well. I said to him as well, you've got to stop scoring these last-minute goals. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot has been said about Harley Dean, but he's the only player I can remember who scored a goal at Wembley for some time in that game with two-one loss. So I'm glad Harley's staying. I'm glad he's signed a three-year contract. It's a good boy. In fact, I'm thinking of a new shout. We've got to start shouting, Harley Dean, Mean Machine. I like that. Yeah. So today, do you think you can get everyone singing? Well, from here, from my little voice, no, I don't think so. But there's a few lads, lads around here who've got a voice, yeah. How would you sing it? Harley Dean, Mean Machine. Harley Dean, Mean Machine. Just to keep over it, you know. Brentford versus Wigan. Was when was that? Last season. Yeah, what was the score? 3-0 to Brentford. Uh, it was uh, Brentford v Huddersfield uh, a few years ago, actually, my first ever game. Yeah, it was really good. It was playoff semi-final, I believe. I was really young. Uh, we won. I think it was the first time Brentford went to Wembley. I can't, can't quite remember it was that long ago, but we won 2-1. Lloyd Awusu, I think, scored. That's how long ago it was. Uh, yeah, I saw them beat Huddersfield, uh, I believe it was about a month and a half, two months ago. 4-2 game. It's a good result. I haven't been, uh, haven't been many in the last few weeks, so. See, today it's my little boy's first game as well. So. <gasps> Is it your first match? Are you excited? Yeah, sixth round of the FA Cup against Sunderland, I believe. 2-1, DJ Campbell, it was a good game, definitely. I was there, I remember. What was so good about the game, other than the result? Um, the atmosphere, definitely amazing atmosphere, as it always is in Brentford. So is this your lucky flag? It is my lucky flag, I consider it lucky, but today, because it's such a big game, I've got my lucky underpants on as well, with no trousers, that's why I stand behind this flag, because it will scare the opposition fans. And, yeah. He's not lying. Of course. <laughs>